Hi and welcome back. In the last video, I did a quick tutorial on how you can create and send MailChimp campaigns. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and you watch it. In this video, let's see about automations and I want to do a quick tutorial. I'm not going to go through everything. So if you have any questions, you can let me know after the video, but I'm not going to go through everything because I just want to do a quick tutorial that will show you how you can create automations in MailChimp. So the difference between an automation and a campaign in MailChimp is that a campaign is a one-time email. That is an email that you send once and there's nothing that follows up after that email. However, you can go further with campaigns by creating automations. So automations are automatic campaigns that are based on specific triggers. So maybe the trigger is somebody subscribes on your list, then you send them another campaign. Somebody clicks a link on your email then you send them another campaign. So we're going to do something like that. I'm just going to do a quick overview of how you can send and how you can create and set automations in motion. So let's start by clicking on create a campaign. So I'll just click on create campaign and then I'll come here under create an email and then I'll go into automated. So these are the automation that you can create in MailChimp. You have this welcome new subscribers. You can create one whereby as soon as somebody subscribes, you send them this email. You can say happy birthday every year. You remember when you are importing our MailChimp list, there was an option there for you to add a date of birth. So you can add that birthday for somebody so that on that specific day, every year, you can automatically send them an email telling them happy birthday is a free coupon for you. And you can also share your blog posts by creating RSS campaigns, which will automatically go out every time you post a new post on your blog or any time that you decide. Maybe you can say weekly or daily, you can send your post RSS feeds. And then we also have subscriber activity. So if somebody subscribes or respond to subscriber updates, then you can have thank pop-up from subscribers. If somebody signs up through your pop-up, then we have the important ones, which are under e-commerce. And you can thank first time customers, you can reward your best customers, you can retarget visitors, follow up on purchases, enable order notifications, recover abandoned cuts. And there's a video about this below. I did a video about this below and you can check it out in the old tutorials. There's a video about this. So let's say you want to create a simple campaign based on subscriber activity. So I'll just start by saying you know what, the easiest and the quickest way for me to show you how you can create campaigns in MailChimp is to create a custom one. So let me click on custom and we're going to start from here. So campaign name, give it a name and we're going to call it automated trial. And then let's click on begin. Of course, you can choose your list. If you have multiple lists, then you can choose the list that you want to create this automation for. And I will click on begin. There we go. So the most important thing about campaigns is that there's got to be a trigger. So you can see here this, you can edit your trigger. So the trigger is the thing that sets this campaign in motion. So let's say we click on edit trigger so that we can see which triggers we have. So if a subscriber is added manually, so this is a manual add. You can change the trigger here. Let's change the trigger and you can see previous email sent. So you can see some of these say that cannot be first trigger. Some of them are just common sense. You see that previous email sent, there's got to be an email which was sent for this to be a trigger. So let's find something that doesn't have this first trigger. List management. So let's say list management and sign up. Let's say somebody signs up on my list. So somebody signs up on my list. Then I want to wait one day and then, and then after a day, I want to send them. I want to send them this message. So of course, in this message, I'm going to edit my email here. And some of the things you can also edit a schedule, you can edit the schedule when do you want it sent at a particular point, or only at a specific time, segment, none, there are no segments here. If you want, you can only do this for a particular segment. So you can only do this for a particular segment. So you have to set the conditions, okay? So you see we have we have our segment within here and we can use any of this if you wanted to or you can create brand new 
brand new segments so it's just the same process on creating segments so i don't want to set up any segments for that i will leave it as so and then you can edit actions so let's see the actions that we have so you can choose post sending list action this action is performed on each subscriber after the email is sent so what do you want to do after the email has been sent out to the subscriber what do you want to do you can update a field you can leave interest group maybe you can delete from the list you can update a merge field so this is a nice way for you to maybe streamline your list in a way that you want for example you're sending a series of emails and in the last email you want it such that if somebody doesn't take action doesn't take action in your list you delete them from the list so these are some of the actions you can take you can send them to a group right if you send them an, an email based on a certain criteria and they click on specific links in your campaign then you can put them in a certain interest you can remove them from a group so that's something you can think about once you set up many different automations so i'm just going to cancel this and then we come back here into design email so for design email give your email a subject and i'm going to call this email one and then the preview text i'm just going to ignore that then i'll go next and in the next step you can choose a template so i don't have any templates that i've saved i should have saved the last one i created so i'm just going to go into campaigns and i'm going to select the one that i sent and this is a campaign that i sent in the last video so i'm going to use this just because i want to save time all right so i just save and continue because i don't want to go through this step again i did a, a brief overview overview of how you can change all those elements and then of course of course automation is about sending multiple emails so the first email has been sent okay so the second email we want to check if a certain link was clicked in this email then if they click that link we want to send them we want to send them another campaign so let's click to edit the trigger so for this one we want to set up the trigger let's change the trigger so previous email was sent so this can also be a trigger on its own you can see previous email was sent this can be a trigger on its own so this is one of those that you can use if you want to teach people how to use a specific item maybe people sign up on your new application on your new app on your new software and you want to teach them how to use it you can do this previous email was sent then you wait like a day you send them that email okay but for me i want to check if a list if a link was clicked so previous email was opened you can also use this to check if they opened the last email if they didn't open then you can use this one previous email not opened okay so you can set up multiple campaigns some of these are very self-explanatory you can just use them the way that you see them so the one that you want to use is an email was clicked previous email was clicked previous email not clicked specific link in previous email clicked this is the one that i want to check you can send it the next day or you can wait a couple of days you can even do it weekly you know so settings so so let me track down the link and then and then i'm going to paste it in here so if i can remember correctly the only linked i the only link i used in the last campaign video was a link to an image so let me copy the image address and then i'll come back here and i will paste the link and then i will update the trigger and just like that now we know that if somebody opens this and they click this link we want to we want to do something so we can edit action if they if they opened it you can also add another one here just to track if they open the email but of course if they clicked a link it checks two things they of course opened the email and then they also clicked a link so by click checking if they clicked a link you're checking two things did they open the email and also did they click the link so what actions can we take let's say that we want to move them to a new group if they click that link so delete you send them an email and then you also want to take them to a new group okay you can add them to a group 
remove them from a group it's entirely up to you i've shown you how to create groups and you can create groups based on your your subscriber interests so this is just an example for me maybe you can update something for them maybe the first name you can update something maybe if you add a new field you can update a certain field okay if you add a certain field so these are not active that's why they are not being shown but if you go under the list settings you'll see how you can activate this and i showed you how you can do that so in my case let's say that i want to i want to put them into this then i will update action you send this they subscribe you send this okay maybe there should be something in between here mine is not organized but i'm just showing you how you can do this so let's say after you move them into the new group you want to send another email but this time around we only want to send this email if they opened this email so add email and then the first thing let's change the trigger so we look at the trigger the trigger is what will make this email go trigger that i want to use is if the previous email was opened so if they opened the previous email you can wait number of days after you send the previous email you can wait weeks so i'll update the trigger previous email was sent and remember i haven't designed an email here so i will have to design an email just like i did with this one so this will be second and then all this i'll just click next to save time i'll just choose the same campaign again and then for this one also i'm going to design an email and i will call this third and then i'm going to just go to the next step because i want to save time then i will send the same campaign that i used in the last video so for you of course you're going to have to edit and create your emails in advance so that you can know what you want to send just make sure you create your automations the way that you want them to be if you want to track your subscribers as soon as they subscribe then you're going to have to set up your emails in a way that handles that for you so like this one was being sent if this one was opened so maybe the last email that you want to send them maybe you just want to send it you just want to send it if this email was sent so if this email was was sent you want to send them a final email telling them about a particular offer so for this let's say if the previous email was sent and we're just going to use this trigger so you can wait a couple of days you can even wait a week before you send this one and then you can update trigger like for the ones whereby like for this one i think it was this one where we were checking if a specific link was clicked this one you may have to wait a couple of days because some people take more time to open their emails and look at them some people will open it immediately some people don't do it immediately so you may have to wait a couple of days even a week if you're going to use some of the triggers that are available in mailchimp so for this one if the previous email was sent we want just we want to send them another campaign and in this campaign maybe we are selling them now this is a final campaign where we are inviting them to buy something from us So let's call this one fourth. So you can see a pattern here. You have to plan your campaigns, okay? Mailchimp has certain triggers that you can use. Make sure you find the best triggers that work best for your scenario and also work best for your end result. What do you want to achieve in your automation? What do you want to achieve by the end of the automation? Are you selling something? and before you start selling of course you have to you have to at least uh, tell people some useful things uh, just to build some trust and once you do that maybe you can send them an email that that asks them to buy something from you or to join a particular product it all depends on what your goals are for your automation for your campaign okay so let's assume that this is all that we want to do this is our entire mailchimp automation 
okay so you can create as many as you want to in my case i'm saying that this is all that i want to do as for now so you can send yourself a test email if you want to and for me i'll just go to the next step because i want the video to end as soon as possible and you can see everything is a blue check mark meaning that everything is a go for you you have added all your emails in here and then just after that you can click start workflow and once you click on start workflow your workflow will be started okay so that's it so if you want to edit this automation you'll just go back into campaigns and you can see that if you see this it means that your automation is active so i'm going to click on it if you want to edit it you can just click on it to edit anything so you can pause all the emails you can edit the workflow settings anything about these campaigns anything about the emails you can edit that you can add subscribers remove subscribers from a workflow okay you can pause all emails you can edit it so you have to pause it to edit it if you want to edit it you can replicate it you can view the report for every single email okay so that's pretty much it for this video and in this video i've done a quick video that shows you how you can create automations in mailchimp of course i'm going to do more in later videos for now you can watch this and i believe this should get you in a path whereby you are able to work your way and find your way around the mailchimp automation feature so for me i'll just click on save and exit and i will exit to go to campaigns all right so that's it for this video make sure you watch the previous one and in the previous one i did another quick tutorial that shows you how you can send mailchimp campaigns so i will see you in the next video when we get started looking at things about sign up forms so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel very free to let me know i will see you next time